everyone, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally sharing with you Madden's bedroom makeover. Now Madden is six years old and in kindergarten and we were ready to give his room a little bit of a mini makeover. Now throughout, it's actually been over a year now, I've slowly been making my way around our 1990s house and painting all of the oak woodwork and doors to white and in the process of doing that i have really enjoyed just giving each space a little bit of a makeover so it was madden's turn now he had one request he wanted nerf guns to be displayed somewhere in his room on a wall so we made that happen but the big thing that i wanted to change in here was his bed now he had the crib that transitioned to a toddler bed and then you can also use it as a full-size bed and it worked out well for a while. However, I noticed just over the year or two that he had it in that full-size bed, I guess. I don't even know what you want to call it. But when we had the full-size bed, it had a really tall footboard and it really closed off the room a lot. Also, boys are very wild, so they would climb on it and jump off of it. And then he has a ceiling fan and it just made me so nervous. And so I knew for sure that I just, I wanted to get rid of that bed and get something that did not have a footboard at all and would really just open up the space for my wild little boy. So we made a couple of changes in here. We just got him a new headboard. And then I did a few like things on the wall that I can share with you today. But anyways, I'm going to take you through the whole process in today's video. The first thing that I want to get done in his room is switching out all of the outlets in here. So our whole house had cream and as I've been going around and painting all the trim white, I've been switching out the outlets to white. So that is what I am doing here. I just have, I stocked up on these way back when I knew I was going to start. You can buy like contractor packs. It's very inexpensive. I want to say they're about 50 cents an outlet to switch out and it just makes a big difference in the room. It looks so much nicer. So my dad actually taught me how to do it, so I owe this all to him. So I'm just gonna work my way around his room, switching out all of the outlets, and then I will get started painting the trim. I took a pretty big break from painting all of our woodwork, so I kind of forgot how much time it actually takes. So throughout this video, you will see me in like multiple outfits. This entire kind of little makeover took me about two weeks just being at home with the kids, working on it here and there as I could. But anyways, right now I am doing this all-purpose sealant or caulk through all of the edges of the trim. So I just place like a bead of it down the seam and then I'll rub my finger on it to kind of push it in and smooth it down and wipe it off with a wet washcloth just to give a clean look. It really just helps fill in a lot of the gaps. When you paint things white, everything seems to stick out so much more. So I feel like this is a very critical step. I know I've gotten a ton of questions on all of the steps that I use to paint all of our trim. So I hope you don't mind that I'm sharing this also in today's video. But after I let that dry for a couple hours, I then can go back and I tape everything. I tape underneath the carpet. I kind of push my fingers under the trim as much as possible. And then of course I tape above on the wall area as well. And all of this prep work takes so much time, but it's definitely worth it in the end.
once everything is prepped, I can finally start painting. I didn't think that day would ever come. You can see it's a new day now, but I'm priming everything first. I'm using the Zinsser Fast Prime 2. It's something I had picked up from Menards and I've used it all throughout our house and I've had no problems with it. So I'm just going to go through, I'm starting with the window because that seems to take the longest and work my way around his room, just priming all the things. We don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside me. Take away the pain, we can go and say, I can feel it, it burns inside me. We could run away, we don't gotta stay. I can feel it, it burns inside me. Take away the pain, we can go and say, Trust me, I won't let you down. Primer itself dries really quickly, so once I get through the whole room, I can basically go back and start with the next coat. Sherwin Williams Pro Classic is the paint that I use all over our home. I always get that question. I just get it in the extra white, which is their base color. When I decided I wanted to paint all our trim, I basically just went into their store and asked them what they recommended, and that's what they said, and I love it. I've had no issues with it. So anyways, I'm just going through and painting it all, all over again. I think I end up painting three coats on the window just because you have the sun shining in. You don't want to see any of the woodwork coming through. Same thing with the door. And then on the actual baseboards, I only have to do two coats. Some gates never get to open because it's too late. I could be the one who saves you from this place Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Find me, find me If you do follow these steps, one tip I do have is to peel away your tape when your paint is still wet. So right after that final coat, go ahead and peel off your tape so none of it dries and peels off. It just works so much easier. Madden's room is very dark. We actually did paint, or I guess I painted his walls right when we moved into this house. So five or six years ago, I'm not even sure what color it is to be honest with you. But I like the color. I didn't really want to go back and repaint all of the walls, just a lighter gray. So my idea was to just do an accent wall in here to kind of lighten things up a little bit. And I decided board and batten was where it's at. I love how our main floor turned out. So I'm just going to be doing basically the same exact thing again. I kind of went back and forth on doing a, like different designs, but in the end, I just decided to stick with something very classic. I am using just very inexpensive primed MDF that we had in our garage. So I think the vertical boards are two and a quarter and the horizontal are three and a quarter. Those are just the sizes that our Menards had. So I had those on hand. But anyways, the measurements that I'm using, I based it on the size of his headboard. So I wanted to make sure that the board and batten went above it. Otherwise I thought it might look a little bit goofy. So I'm just really measuring everything out, writing things all over the wall until I get it all figured out. 
One thing I have learned is to don't assume that your walls are level because they almost never are. You almost need to measure each individual space to get them to fit exactly right. If you're looking for some crazy, I'll tell you everybody's getting out of line for the water slide. Oh, you can come on over. We can take the roller coaster. Uh, and you know everybody's looking for a ride in the water slide. These are his closet doors. This is typically how I will do it. I will take them down to our basement and paint them down here, just priming first. I do two coats of primer, and then I think two or three coats, I cannot remember, of the Pro Classic. But it's quite the process. So I do it in our basement because we're going to be switching out that carpet soon anyways. So it's a new day. Now it's time to paint the board and batten. I'm going to be doing it all in a white to really just brighten up his room. But of course I need to prep first. So I'm taping it all because I need to paint. And then I'm also going to fill in any nail holes with this dry dex before I start. I don't think I actually recorded it, but I did go through with the caulk as well and filled in all of the seams before I did start painting. I'm the first one to get off at the station. There's something in the air that I can't play. And now I see a silhouette in the dark. It's like time has stood still. I'm gonna hold you tight. My whole thought process around his room was I wanted it to be something that could grow with him. And so I went with a black, it's well, it's more like a charcoal. It's in the shade Peppercorn from Sherwin-Williams. I love it. It's a very bold color. I've always wanted to try and use it somewhere in our home. So I thought this was the perfect space to do it. Or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me here is a quick look at his new headboard. I actually put it together while we were watching Wheel of Fortune one night, so I do not have a clip of that, but I ordered it off of Amazon. I really loved it because of that little barn light on it. I thought he could use that for reading at night, and it also coordinates with his other furniture that he already has in there. So now we are just loading in the box spring. You can see I have some helpers, and we're going to get his bed all set up. Stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be. 
I'm adding the bed skirt for now, but I'm not sure that I will keep it that way. I have not decided if I like it or not. So if you have any ideas as far as what else I could do to hide the actual bed frame, please let me know in the comments below. But right now I'm just going to make his bed as much as I can. The rest of his things are still in the washing machine but I do have the mattress pad ready to go. Now this kid has the most comfortable mattress out of all of us in our family. He had a little mattress that we shared in a video, oh my goodness, a year or two ago. Still absolutely love it. So while I'm waiting for his bedding to dry, I'm just going to hang up some of his decor that he already had. If you remember, I spray painted this yellow M to black. I thought that would go really well. And this sign right here actually has kind of moved around our house, but I did pick it up off of a garage sale a couple years ago for $20. And I thought the black just really popped off of those gray walls and just fit in perfectly above his dresser. We run away. Now, because we are in a time where we're not supposed to be out doing any sort of unnecessary shopping for like home decor or things like that, I'm really just using a lot of the things that we already had on here. I've thought about making a shelf to go above his dresser to display some of his Lego pieces, but I'm still undecided on that at this point. So in a way it's kind of a blessing in disguise to really just live with the room as it is now and we can add things as needed as he grows up. So just adding his Lego figurines, his CD player, this fan light was from Decor Steels and he really wanted to add his dog man books over on his nightstand. He is a big fan of those. So last month I actually gave Macy, who's our eight-year-old daughter's room, a makeover and we received the Betty's bedding for her room and we loved it so much that right after that video I ordered this set for Madden. Now he is one that will not sleep under his covers because he does not want to mess up his bed and so I knew that this set would be perfect for him. So it's the one where you can zip it up to make the bed, which he will share with you here in a little bit but I actually purchased this on my own we just love them so much and he has been really enjoying sleeping in it he actually came down this morning he said mom I made my bed already he's just so excited about it so I'm happy that it worked out for him but this pattern is in the farmhouse I believe is what it's called and I feel like it's a very gender neutral color also age I mean not age specific at all it's something that can also grow with him for a very long time Hey, even if I lose my ground, I won't let it hold me down. Now there are still a few things that I plan to do here and there, like we still need to pick up blinds and some hinges for his door, but that can all wait. For now we are really happy with how his room turned out. So all we wanted to do is just put um, all of my favorite Nerf guns on it. And as you can see, you already know this is my favorite Nerf gun. And this one, all of them are my favorite. He's going to test out the whole zipper right now. Turn on your spotlight. Oop, he's going to love this so much. What do you think? It's so good, the inside. 
Yeah, and it's so comfortable. Inside has the minky, just like Macy's, and then this is like what the sheet looks like on the inside. The moment of truth. He's gonna try to make his own bed. Oh my gosh, you're a pro! <laughs> That's awesome! That's going to be it for today's video. Do not forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little mini makeover. Of course, there are a few things that we still need to do, but for the most part, this room is done and we are so happy with how it turned out. But definitely subscribe and stick around if you are new. I still have lots more rooms to go, our entire basement and also the twins' bedroom, which is most likely going to be my next project. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I guess I'll